Malthouse and Russo. Above them goes Peter Swab. Rollings over runs it. Picked up by Waitman. Waitman the long hand passes. Danger out towards Lee. He upends Wallace. Picked up by Reigns. Dodges brilliantly. Steadies and kicks a perfect kick to Preston. Preston can go on. Looks for a hand pass. Not a good one. Out to Williams. He sends a long one downfield. Michael Roach and Kelvin Moore underneath it. Moore hits it down. Bartlett. Goal. There is a wizard. 18th season and running just like when he first started. Absolutely magnificent. Richmond, 42, thrashing Hawthorne, 17, three minutes into the second quarter. Loveridge, and stolen by Peary. Left foot kick to centre-half forward, but it's all Mew. Mew at centre-half back. Wide out looking for Bacanara, pursued by Shan. Bacanara takes the mark. It'll be 15 metres against Chand. Very indirect play. He's a long way away. He's... Uh, about as far as away you can get on a half forward flank on the MCC. Kicks it down towards the pocket. Where Michael Tuck will go the leap. Oh, how well done. How beautifully done over the top of Landy. That <laughs> gangling. Almost famous run at Hawthorne. This man who served the club so brilliantly is on the impossible angle. He's Again, no, I thought he was going to try that banana kick. I don't think so. It's a drop punt. Kicks for goal. Can't do much better than that, Mike. You really can't do much better than that. A mark that was a super one over the top. And then the impossible angle converted. Hawthorne badly needed Tuck's goal to reduce the deficit to 19 points. Lee out of the centre. Intercepted by Tuck. Hugh going past. Has time for the bouncing ball. Russo at half forward with Malthouse. That was really fairly easy for Mick Malthouse. Yes, set up for him. He had to jump and punch. He's good at that. And the two Giants contest again. Burn that time. Goldwoods for Hawthorne. Matthews second possession only. Out to Russo, who hooks it back. Hook dropped by Martello. Danger now for Richmond. Martello gives away the free kick. Gave him plenty of time to uh, punch it out or do something with it. And the free kick goes to Michael Byrne. And he shouldn't miss from here, only 10 metres from goal. He's kicked one of Hawthorne's three goals. And now is their major goal kicker. Hawthorne have kicked the last two and are coming back. Michael Byrne is taking the longest run, and you can see against Lee. It's a beautiful bounce from the umpire. Even Lee got the second one at it. Mew got the next one, and a long one it was, too. Tuck, Knights, dash. Back it goes towards centre-half forward. Bad one for Rollings. Rioli, beautiful scoop. Driving left foot downfield. Cloak up in front. Behind his partner. Runs away. Has a shot for an open goal, but he's pushed by Mew. As he kicked the ball, an excellent tackle, says the umpire. The result is out of bounds and a free kick to Moore. Oh, straight up the ground. Oh, this is a bit of uh, danger. Look for Wallace then, who's not the tallest player looking for a mark for a kick like that. Through green it goes. On to Ede. Ablett tries to flick it up off his boot into his hands. Waitman intercepts. And does well. Back he goes for support with Malthouse. Bad one for Rioli. Intercepted by Schwab. Back to Green. Players unmarked on the outer side for Hawthorne Ablett. Hawthorne looking better. 6-6 six, six to 4-5. To Kennedy. And Kennedy's at centre half forward. His second kick. Number 34, John Kennedy has a great opportunity now to kick for goal, to kick a goal. High, long and straight. Well done, John. Just made the distance. He's become quite a goal kicker in the last month. And Hawthorne getting back into the game. Now trail only by seven points. Malthouse. Out wide, Jess. 
Nicely done, Ablett. Jess might have taken a free. He will take a free. Richmond looking a bit bedraggled at the moment. Out wide, Waitman. The little man gets a lightning one to Wiley. Wiley downfield to nobody in particular. It's all Hawthorne's way. A lucky bounce to Cloak. Cloak's hand pass is not good. Comes back with it himself. Great play. Beautiful play, Cloak. And gives it to Roach who ran to Well, he fought so cleverly, but I thought he'd given the hand pass. He didn't. And that was really spectacular football by the captain. It's Byrne against Lee again. Lee. Mew. Long kick to the forward line. Loveridge. Oh, from behind Malthouse. The umpire says play on. Malthouse breaks Knights' tackle. Runs into tuck. Trouble. Jess. The ball knocked out of his hands. Goes to Knights. Comes to Kennedy. Has already kicked one. Can't get clear for a second. Wallace has a shot. And it's shepherded for a behind. She was close. And Peyton's at full forward at the moment. Martello at full back, but... The the Richmond camp won't give him the right to kick out. It's Malthouse who's kicked out for each time for the Tigers. Out looking for Piri this time. It's straight to Bacanara. Piri from behind might take it. Can't make it. Shand. Lose it. Was legged. And Shand will take the free kick on halfback flank. It was a strange side of the ground to go. So often Richmond in the past have kicked to Brian Wood's wing. And, uh, time towards Piri. Now here's Shand from halfback flank. Over the wing, Cloak from the back. Comes off Mew to Schwab to Russo. Beautifully measured off pass and what a... Oh, Loveridge spills it again. Into Bacanara. High one, Burns there. Matthews, the ball goes out from a solid punch to the boundary line. Forty-eight points to Richmond, thirty-seven to Hawthorne. Martello in front, beaten by Byrne. Well played, Tuck. Left foot snap, Matthews. Schwab, what? Schwab, it's through. He really enjoyed that one. Well played. Bounce favours Lee. He knocks to the back, grabbed by O'Halloran, who is in turn grabbed by Preston. Free kick O'Halloran for the high tackle. Out to Polkinghorn. Just gets clear. Bouncing ball for Kennedy with Piri. Knights takes it away from his teammate. Mucks things up a bit. Now it comes to Jess. Over the top to Brian Wood, but too far over him. Breaks from the wing. Williams is there with Ede. Good spoil by Rodney Ede, who was giving away height. Williams fights hard for it. Reigns gets clear, but passes straight to the opposition. Polkinghorn onto Wallace. Wallace in a flash out to Green. Green well tackled by Wiley. Malthouse again. Can't take it. Great chance for Ayr. For Russo, he's a good kick. Drives and drives it through. He's a very good kick. A long wait down there. Russo's goal has put Hawthorne in front after they were down by 23 points earlier in the quarter and getting a bit of a tower. Tuck out of the centre. Malthouse takes the mark in defence for Richmond. Ha only half the quarter gone, 16 minutes, and Hawthorne have rushed on goals to hit the front. Drive down towards centre, half forward. Cloak in front, good mark. All bulk and strength, that one. Drives it cleverly and brilliantly out to Bartlett. That was a perfect pass. Well, David Cloak, his kicking looks ungainly, but looks below the skill of it. It's very, very straight. That's a beautiful pass that time, and Bartlett has kicked one. He is well within range. High, not a good kick, Kevin. That's a squandered opportunity. If there's a weakness in this unbelievable veteran, it's been his kicking for goal. Scores level at the 17-minute mark. As Moore kicks out to Ede. A low one towards the wing. A dive by Bacanara. High tackle. And a free kick will go there to Landy. Yes. Almost a lucky one for them that time. Landy drives down looking for Mike Roach. Great pass and a fine mark. Good lead. Everything 
everything well done that one Roach downfield as Cloak is waiting two to one against him beats them beats them beautifully New looks so disconsolate as Cloak takes his fifth mark and really that enormous Balkan skill despite the fact that Muir has been a conspicuous player everything Cloak has done has been full of class okay, one easy goal to Roach perfect pass to Bartlett now he comes in and drives it through to put the Tigers in front Tuck sends it high and long but off the side of the boot a bit Jess running with it Wallace taken on shows lots of strength lost it Mew very clever out to Loveridge tackled high play on says the umpire Martello will mark on his chest above his shoulders actually Richmond in front by two points going into the second half Martello's kick into a nest of Hawthorne players and the smallest of the lot Loveridge takes the mark 15 metre penalty against Williams Loveridge has kicked a full forward. Burn at the back. In front, Roach. Comes to Bacanara. Down he goes. Malthouse gets it out for Richmond. Jess close to the boundary line. Back towards the pocket. Little short pass. Reigns at half back. Can't take the mark. In comes Ede. Well played, Rodney Ede, as he bursts the tackle. He's a good player. Burns got the chance from behind. Punches it cleverly down. Kennedy for goal and does it. Matthews clapping Kennedy enthusiastically. Michael Byrne would deserve a few claps as well. Hawthorne have taken the lead by four points. Wallace out of the centre. Well done by Malthouse using strength across the half-back line to Wood on Ablett. Swap sides now, Brian Wood. Bad bounce, but he beats him beautifully. Nice hand pass across to Waitman. Waitman breaks away, loves to hand pass, almost forced to kick straight to Rioli like a bullet. Rioli drives it high, didn't do much for his side with that one. Lee and Moore. Here comes a chance now for Hawthorne through Mew. Got plenty of kicks out to O'Halloran. No, O'Halloran on half back flank. Beautiful pass to Tuck. Nothing Perry can do about it. a better kick by Tuck inside half forward Matthews stays at the back of the ball didn't reach him Landy takes a great mark and strangely enough Matthews has got his third opponent at the moment this time it's Terry Smith Landy out to Rioli Rioli that uh, gallant little left footer has got tons of time to steady Do dodges nicely out to Rowling's Rowling's not in good position trouble three against him and kicks it straight to Wallace out to Weed, who's been a very constructive player. The half-back flanker sends it booming down goalwards. In front, Roach. Should have held it. And a tumble for it. Here comes Byrne. Hand pass to Kennedy. Kennedy caught. Matthews. And Wallace. Well done. With great deliberation and skill. Puts it through. And Hawthorne in front. 11-7 to 9-9. Roach wins in the middle. That perhaps was a free kick, but not paid. Ball hadn't gone 10 metres, so play on. Knock away by Ede. Go back on the ground for the second half. Through goes Knights, taking it the wrong way. Up towards half forward. Kennedy's been good in this term. Long kick towards full forward. Chance for Burn. The whistle's gone. There was a push after the kick was delivered. A relayed free to Hawthorne right in front. And Matthews will get a charity goal. Absolute charity. Absolute charity. That one wants to be Burn. Atrocious decision. And what's worse for Richmond, of course, is the giveaway goal. And his kick three will now kick his fourth. And Hawthorne in their best position for the game. Three quick goals in this turn. It's on a bounce. Peyton and Michael Roach. Peyton, a very strong ruckman. Tuck, a brilliant ruck rover, fights for it. And 
Hope comes and here they go again. He drives them downfield. Knights. Oh, he's been a beautiful player. That was the most beautiful pass. And the blonde glamour boy takes the mark and then sends it out to go. But Rodney Eade has been so constructive and so clever in all of his disposals. Great pass again. Oh, you missed what you should have taken that time, Swab. Got, still got the chance. Screws it back, but far too far away and taken by Martello. Out it goes to Landy. Landy in trouble, but does it well. Boots it out to centre wing where he's looking for Wood. Wood might be penalised. He's not. Picked up by O'Halloran. Out towards Ablett. Ablett's over the line, out of bounds, and Hawthorne's still in attack. for Richmond, number 17. Tuck, number 17 for Hawthorne. Rains his kick off the side of the boot, goes eight rows back. And Jeff Rains comes up holding the right knee. Well, with Cloak injured, but battling on at centre-half forward. They don't need the centreman Jeffrey Rains limping like that. And it's Mike Tuck. And it's Rains really in trouble. Tuck runs away from him, the grand opportunist, and runs a long way, 30 metres, and sends a 60-metre downfield. Burn from behind. Super mark at the top of Big Al. Well, it's nice to have six foot seven and a half, isn't it? And then long arms as well. And he's kicked four. What magnificent opportunist football by Tuck that time. When the man on his mark was limping, couldn't chase him. He ran 30 to 40 metres, then a long kick and burn. And towards centre half forward, looking for Peter Knight or Michael Tuck. Yes, in front. Nice play, Rowling's brilliant football. He'll hook it out to Reigns. Reigns can keep on going, the long kicker. Steadies himself and sends a boomer down looking for Lee. Lee comes to the big leap. And... Take it. Well played, Wallace. Out to Ablett, the runner will shoot for goal. Sends a drive up. Well done. Brilliant goal. His kick over the centre. Cloak. Huge punch away by the Hawks' defence. Loveridge. Payton, awkward looking kick to centre half forward, comes to the front, nest of Hawks there, Loveridge a snap for goal, Matthews and Shand one on one, Shand a great mark. Malthouse with the ball, gets a lead from Wood on the outer wing, it's open for Richmond here, short pass by Wood to Rollings, unmarked at half forward, around O'Halloran he goes, Richmond badly need a goal, long kick by Barry Rollings, a beauty! A few opponents. Mew up towards centre half forward. Knights comes from the back and takes a great mark, Peter Knights. Out marking Stephen Mount. And isn't that just what this game is all about? Here comes the, the blonde flyer. Oh, what a big kick. Oh, what a beautiful kick. <laughs> and gives a hand pass across towards Brown, who's into the play again. And Brown's good kick is up towards full forward position. Nearly a one-handed to Worthington, the umpire's paid it. Nicely inside to Smith. Good long kick to half forward. Barham. Well done. Lots of judgment. Lead from Shaw. Good pass. Runs onto his wrong boot and kicks with the left. Barham. Back to Shaw. Lines them up. Puts it through. Barham's great play resulted in the last goal kicked by uh, Shaw, and this could be a goal, and it is a free kick. No goal. Brightus. Schimmelbush. Trying to lift his team, and he oh, does it well. To Hodgman, lines up the goal, and this time puts it through. Good contesting by Collingwood. They really mean business today. <laughs> Bear it all. <laughs> and he's been penalised to add insult to injury. <laughs> well, they're the bare facts. And the free kick just goes to North Melbourne's Bryant. Kicks it to the oh, great mark, McCann, and it's about time. Collingwood out right into the clear again. Tim has said this time and time again, the way the umpires pull them up when they're into attack. No Wellington! My word, I'll pay that. Taylor palming it out. Brightus. Carmen. 
Good snap. What a goal. Free hand pass, in fact. Hotway. Neagle. Oh, through the haystack beautifully. Copping. Or oh, nearly. Copping. His goal. Great goal by Copping. Gary Coles. Hotway calling for it. Oh, it might end up with him. Terry Danaher there too. Danaher. Mark number five to Terry Danaher. Danaher, Simon Madden. Oh, one-handed, not good enough, but he was intercepted. Odd way. No one home. The ball bouncing free. Simon Madden will screw it back. He does. Great goal by Simon Madden. A lead there from Simon Madden. Straight to him. Good catch. Good football. Team play. Well, Madden can just about kick it from here, I think. He gets onto it with that long uh, left boot of his. Only going to make the distance this time. The army's there. Oh, oh the the well, he's done it. Great play, the little Like Really enjoying this performance today. Simon Madden. Oh, Vanderhaar, high tackle. The umpire. See it because he was in the sun. And a split second later, he put his hand up his eyes to try and uh, get some. Oh, oh Simon oh, Madden. Oh, unbelievable oh. mark. Fitzroy chance now through uh, Coates. Across to Francis. Then on to Conlon on the half-forward line now. Conlon's having a shot. It'll get over the top of the pack. It does? Yeah. Taking the chimmel push because they're mining each other. Two rough rovers, two magnificent players. There's a kick by Tuck to the centre of the ground. Peyton marked it well. Doesn't know what to do with it, though. Now he decides to kick it wide to the half-forward line. Matthews in front and has got it. But a good half. He had it all the way against Dench because Dench was hanging on to him anyway. Well, this will need to be a really good kick from uh, Lee Matthews to make the distance, let alone the direction. Oh, gee, it's a good kick. It's a magnificent kick. Eight minutes gone. And the Hawks opening up a nice little break. Nine points. Loveridge. Promising player, Matthews and Dench again. Knights whipped it away as he got the pace. Bryant contests. He played Kevin Bryant. Oh, well played, go. Now Bacanara, a good converter. Kicked it long, but just hooked it too far. It was a fine attempt. Hawthorne's first behind and they lead by 10 points. And the pullback for North Melbourne or kicking off is McCann. Late in Foos near the state side, kicks it long. Oh, it's good in the heart. Gee whiz, he's having a great season, Peyton. Oh, over the mark. Yes, my word, Gary. You're in French with a 15-metre penalty. will go against Dempsey to Peyton. And so he'll put the ball right up into the goal square now. It is into the goal square too. Oh, nearly a free kick. Tuck! A goal coming up for Burn. <laughs> Luck of a game. Four goals to Hawthorne in less than ten minutes of play. They're away to a rip-roaring start. Dempsey the knock. Greg trying to lift north, but Loveridge, great pace. Byrne spoiled by McCann, but fights on well. Oh, well done, Michael Byrne. A great effort. His second goal, and that was a superb solo performance. 11 minutes gone, and already six goals on the board. Five of them to Hawthorne. This time, Peyton won it. Out to Atkins, gets a kick to centre half forward. right up into the square oh good kick looking for blight the ball stumped away oh, how long is there Hodgman trying to get the ball good play by green green got the kick wide it's all hawthorne out there but greg pumps the ball away chance for shimmelbush muse after him shimmelbush got a pick it's down towards atkins he dropped what should have been a mark the ball's knocked out Loveridge again she's got some blistering pace this youngster up towards the center of the ground all north melbourne 
ball was kicked away by Holden. There's a chance for Kelly. Xavier Tanner also there, and that was Abenerkin up the ball away, picked up by Polkinghorn. Goad, not a very good piece of football at all by Goad, but it might be a free kick. Polkinghorn, it was in the back. Very clear cut decision. He's not a good kick. That was uh, ample testimony then. Dench, under pressure though. They're doing everything under pressure, and Ablett takes the sprawling mark at centre half forward. Twenty-two point lead to Hawthorne after only twelve minutes of play, and Ablett just about within scoring distance. A long floater. Burns there. Another fine effort, Kennedy. good effort by Kennedy to get that ball onto his boot despite a strong tackle from John Law and that's Hawthorne sixth they're on fire 13 minutes gone in this first quarter and already Hawthorne have kicked 6-1 to north 1-3 Dempsey again doing well at the centre bounces knocked away by Muse straight towards Bryant and pass Abernerthy gave it across to teammate Kelly drive up towards half forward line Carmen has the ball thumped away. Dugdale. Hand pass. Not well directed. Breedus is there. So is Mew. Good smother by Breedus. The ball came back to Carmen. He dropped it. Had a look around to see who was coming. In the meantime, Tuck clears it out towards Bacanara. He's on the centre wing position. Hawthorne going to attack again. Normally kicks very long. Dempsey in the way. Knights up in front. Wallace, good knock on. Holden. Now a race. Atkins versus Green. Green. Lead. Nice penetrating kick. Byrne comes from behind, but McCann solid in front. Gave the ball across with a hand pass to Glendini. He drives it wide and found. Breedus out there is on the centre wing. Good piece of football by Breedus. Mind you, it was a good hand pass from McCann. He's kicks to centre half forward. Peyton has the ball thumped away, a chance for Greg. Couldn't pick it up on his first attempt. Trying hard with his second, he loses it. Could be a ball up coming here. Ablett has a wild old kick. Coming out with the ball, Hodgman, a hand pass towards Atkins. Another hand pass. And it goes out to Tanner. Oh, he gave it to a teammate who was absolutely trapped. Holding the ball decision against North Melbourne. The second hand pass was not good. O'Halloran. Looks for Bacanara. Wallace, the swooper. Well played, Terry Wallace. Byrne and McCann. Oh, nearly burn. Good tackle. That's got to be a North Melbourne. No free kick. Dench comes away to Dempsey. Kelly. Towards Blight. O'Halloran. Fine interception to Eve. And Hawthorne playing Premiership football. He gets it out wide to teammate Ablett. Ablett goes up towards that half-forward flank. Gee, they're playing well. Their foot passing has been good. It's over the head of this diamond. We'll find, I think, McCann will take it over the line. He couldn't pull up in time. Hawthorne doing it well. They're 6-1 to North Melbourne, 1-3. And we're about halfway through this first quarter. It's in the forward pocket for Hawthorne. And we'll see a duel in the ruck between Dempsey and Byrne. No decisive knockdown. Burr maybe got it. Oh, gee, Schimmelbush nearly put that on the carpet. But finally, the ball was kicked away by North Melbourne up the wall. Mark Breedus. He would have been penalised, I'm sure, had he not taken the mark. Carmen comes from behind. Well played, Russell Green. Hard to find a Hawthorne player at the moment not doing his job to perfection. On the centre wing, Hawthorne well in control of the game, 37 to 9. Payton wins it well. Ball's taken away by Holden. It comes back and Mark has been taken by Goad. He gave it out wide, looking for and finding Ede. What's he doing up there? Finally, the ball comes out to tuck a good hand pass. The ball goes to Loveridge. He shoots for goal. That's another one. Raining goals at Princes Park. And that's Hawthorne 7. The North Melbourne 1 in the first 17 minutes of play.
17 minutes gone first term and Hawthorne have opened up a 34 point lead with a blistering burst umpire Smith to bounce it 10 metres North Melbourne's way from the centre circle a worried looking Gary Dempsey outstrength by Peyton it was bad play by Greg Ablett out comes Matthews tremendous determination about his approach then and he wins a free kick you only had to watch the way he attacked that ball to be convinced that somehow he was going to win it Burns up there one out with McCann but Matthews uh, could almost score good floating torpedo is there lethal second the Hawks eight and they are rampant leading by 40 points after only 18 minutes of play Great goal by Lee Matthews. That was even further than the other one that I didn't think he could kick. 18 and a half minutes gone in this first quarter, and Hawthorne have kicked 8-1. North Melbourne 1-3, but Dempsey's winning so often at the centre bounce but not doing anything with it. A free kick will go to Hawthorne. It's tucked. Hawthorne are in front almost every occasion that they decide to tackle the ball. Free kick the Knights against Glenn Denning. North Melbourne a little bit frustrated. Well, if Matthews kicked one before from that distance, Peter Knights must go terribly close with this, but it's a shocking kick. Falling short. Burn! Good mark. Strong. And this fellow's already kicked two, as has Matthews. They said Loveridge must be one of the recruits of the year, but this fellow can't be far behind him. Not that he really qualifies uh, for that title, but boy, what a buy. Yeah, it's sensational. Loveridge would be the best first-year recruit, we'll put it that way. Can he kick his third straight? Two he has. They are burned. Nine goals won in 19 minutes of play to 1-3. 19 and a half minutes gone, and Hawthorne lead by 46 points. Tuck, Sharks, Dempsey's knock. Knights, Glendinning the spoil. Knights again. Beat two of them. Holden gets a high tackle, or a push in the back, as indicated by Robinson. Gives it to Greg. And North Stars have got a lift. Up towards Carmen. Outnumbered. O'Halloran. Payton. All played by the big fellow. To open space. Gives Applet the chance to use his pace. He doesn't even bother. Just goes bang and misses. Could have run another 10 or 15 metres and made the shot considerably easier. Boots and Hawthorne supporters because he kicked their second behind instead of their tenth goal. Sensational opening of... 20 minutes of play by Hawthorne because they are 9-2 to 1-3. McCann's good kick, Glenn Denning. Should be paid that mark. Good effort. He's on the half-back flank. And no doubt we'll see some great aerial duels between he and Knights. There's the kick by Glenn Denning. Good. Looking for Carmen from the back. Not good enough. Chance for Schimmelbush. Picks it up on the way through. Go tackle. Great tackle from Go. Oh, and is picked up by Ablett. Kicks it where Dempsey will mark well. Will play on. Drives it down towards full forward position. Carmen again, but couldn't quite hold it. O'Halloran gave a shoddy old hand pass, but there are two Hawthorne players there. Rodney Ede picked it up. Kicked it out wide to the flank. Looking for Kennedy. Got away. Gave a hand pass to Tuck. And Hawthorne out in the clear with a beautiful pass to Watts. And half back. Knights versus Glenn Dinning. Well played by the North Melbourne champion. He's fought back well in the last five minutes. Mew and Carmen. Hodgman. Kelly. Schimmelbush. Tackle from Polkinghorne, but Schimmer does it. North's second goal. And to say they need it would be the understatement of the season because they still trail by 41 points. Twenty-two minutes gone in the first quarter, and it's fifty-six points to fifteen in favour of North. And Dempsey again won it, but it's Tuck taking the ball away. Dugdale battles hard. 
Kelly came in to help him. Now to Bacanara. Gave the ball across to Payton. Good hand pass. His kick is up towards Matthews. In the back and the umpires picked it up. You just can't do that, Mr. Dench. If you're behind and you tackle in a manner like that, you leave yourself open and the umpire is side on and couldn't miss it. Matthews was too fast for Dench and has a chance to kick his third. Distance is there and it's another goal to Matthews and Hawthorne are in double figures at the 23 and a half minute mark in the first quarter. They are 10 goals two. In North Melbourne, two three. Twenty-three and a half minutes gone, and in that time Hawthorne have kicked ten goals. Russo, <laughs> Law, here's the Hawthorne tackling, it's been brilliant. Russo again, Bacanara has kicked their 11. They cannot miss. It's unbelievable. And Bacanara joins the goal scoring orgy. Nearly 25 minutes gone in the first quarter, and it's 11 goals, 2-2-3. Two two Favour of the Mighty Hawks as Dempsey kicks it down towards the forward pocket. The bounce favours Hawks, and everything is going right. The kick by uh, Moore wasn't well delivered, a chance for Brutus. Gives a long hand pass to Schimmelbush. He will circle around, gives a hand pass back here towards Atkins. The kick is towards the goal square. Easy mark to Kelvin Moore. Right in the last line of defence. The ever-reliable... Empire's bringing his man back in the mark. He's going to make him kick over the man the mark because he went behind the goal line, and that is correct. You're not allowed to run or turn any other way than over the man in the mark if you go behind the goal. So Moore will have to have another kick. Kicks it wide. Polking one. Ball stumped away by Doug Dale. It'll be a throw-in at a half a minute into the time on period. It's 11 goals two to two goals three. Hawthorne well in command. Payton's played a magnificent first quarter. He's in trouble here, though. Well tackled by Doug Dale and penalised. Up towards Blight, who hasn't featured so far. Tanner. Hit the post, just clipped the inside. And when your luck's riding, you can do just about anything, as Hawthorne are doing at the other end of the ground, I'm sure. At the other end, that somehow would have found its way through. Kick out by Moore. Hawthorne again, this time Russo. Kicks it long and hard. Holden doing well, but Kennedy out with the ball. Kicks it to forward pocket. Matthews is there playing it in front of him. Gave a hand pass out here towards Loveridge. Loveridge has got too much pace for his opponent. Oh, brilliant! The balk was superb. Kicks it well up towards the forward line. Knights is there. The ball stumped away. Matthews charges through the pack. Snaps it. Burn! Another goal. Four goals to burn. Twelve goals to Hawthorne. The road. Russo got a kick. It's up towards the forward line. Matthews is there. Knocks it back beautifully to Kennedy. He will probably know he changes his mind. He gets a left foot kick and he's back and through again. Oh, Smith in all sorts of trouble. There was the ball. There's a free kick. Maybe a goal. The umpire's consulting. It's a goal. A couple of those have been rushed, those behinds. There's a kick by Atkins. It looks good. Oh, over the top, O'Halloran. Three and a half minutes gone. Beautiful palm by Dempsey. To no avail. Tuck. He kick his third. Yes, he has. He's been best man on the ground. A lot better in this early part of this third term. Oh, a towering kick. Back and over. Oh, what a fly. Well, Rove Chimmelbush. Abernethy. Carmen. Yes. He kicks it back towards full forward over the head of Byrne. Great try. Matthews. Ducked out of trouble. Turns. Snaps for goal. He's having a little bit of trouble deciding what to do. Finally kicks it down here to Byrne, who's on his own. Picks the ball up well. He's had a bounce. And he's kicked another goal. Great goal from Byrne. In towards half forward. Blight 
with three to beat, and he does it magnificently. Beasley leads, ignores that. Beasley goes back. Now, Beasley, the chance. Berry is down there to Beasley. Been running through to take it is O'Keefe. So he followed the play down well on another acute angle as he screws this towards goal. McCallis has dropped it. Johnson was pulled off his shot. Coming through was Harrison. Put it through for his second. And Curvis gets a call from Peak. Oops, he overran it to Edmund. Uh, the door opened for him. Lines up at centre half forward. Will it beat Reynoldson? It's over the top of him. Oh, he dives for it. Didn't get there. And a great goal. Kick. McPherson, that's Rod McPherson, taps it across. Cordy. That's the second big run he's had today. Looking for Beasley. It finds him. Great pass. Footscray's Wheeler. Balancing, bobbling it, loses it. Then it's Bruns. Bruns kicks it to Johnston. And he shepherded it through. That's a goal. Very too far out to score. Beasley leads. Oh, he's surrounded. The mark taken by Edmund. A snap for goal. It's close. It's good. No one within 50 metres of Tui apart from his own teammates. Now he gets the long kick to Flanagan. Flanagan all at sea at uh, half foot. This is Terry Bright with a long kick away. One foot spray, two Geelong. Three Geelong now. Nichols Shepherds for Neil. Nichols was Harrison, rather. Head to Johnson, and another goal. Oh, that was touch and go for his fifth. He kicked it just before his foot went over the line. McKenna to Hawkins. Then over to Burton. And the long kick down towards Beasley. Flies from the oh, line. Oh. And he is on with that air of duplicity. Well played, Saru. Brilliant football. Absolutely superb football by Jeff Saru. Across to Thomas. Thomas sends a beautiful long one downfield. Breen's in great position, but misses what he should have taken. Harms can give it out to the gypsy, but does it badly. Keel across to Breen. Breen, well done. Man certainly adds a little bit of life to the St Kilda forward line. That's his seventh kick. Into the forward pocket, Garazini's in front of Southby, but the experience of Southby wins out. Mr. Coolness kicks clear. It's all St. Kilda. Thomas, what's he doing up in the half forward line? <laughs> Short passes across to Ashman. Ashman goes on, will shoot for goal. Big wow, Jones. Good mark. Word is marked well in this match. Rosasto dodges under a couple, hits it out wide looking for McClure, tackled by Thomas, hand passes to himself, hits it on further, picked up by Ditchburn, Ditchburn back towards Rosasto, picked up by Johnston, back towards Ashman, Ashman then onto his left foot, kicks for goal and kicks a boomer. Hand pass in the middle again to Hartney, who backed up well, across to Marcazzani. Marcazzani wide to Ditsburn, who's on the half-forward line. Can give the hand pass across to McCoo, but elects to go to Johnston. Johnston off the left boot, and he's goal. Meldrum down towards that full-forward zone. Ditsburn the leaper. Oh, he almost took it to Marcu. Snap, smothered. Keel dodges cleverly. Dodges again beautifully. Steadies and sends it downfield. Across to... Uh, Waterlotto, and the big fellow can run. Kicks up into the half forward line. Gets back. And Cox won for his trouble. Uh, clever pass across. Copping again. Caught. Couldn't take it. Nice play, Simon Madden. The budgie will go and have a shot. And his hand passes. So clever to copy. Evans. Big game from him would lift the swans. A long kick looking for Torbett. Off the hands of the pack. A chance now for Allen to kick off the ground. Goal. Opportunist goal to Stephen Ellender. Great pick up by Walsh. Kick is beautifully smothered by Tony Danaher, by Danaher. Picked up by Paul Morwood. Has his second shot for goal and did it brilliantly. Max Crow's the leaper. All oh, Torbett almost took it. Out to Tim. In trouble. Caught. Good hand pass. Otway. Simon Madden. Left foot to it is smothered. Great football, Tony Morwood. And a magnificent goal. The Morwoods are dominating the scene. Out wide looking for Terry Danaher. Punches out to Otway. Otway breaks away, steadies, shoots, bangs it through. Good speed by Fashini. Well shepherded. Hooks it back looking for Tony Morwood. Oh, great mark, Tony. Not possessing players everywhere. Out it comes towards Copping. Mark Browning. What a splendid mark. Steers the ball to centre half forward. Coming out was uh, Brett Scott. 
Nice tackle on him, though, but uh, that goes astray. Picking it up is Hounsell. Hounsell from about 45 metres out has a shot for goal, and he's put it through. I'd say that's the sealer, if we need one. And a great goal to Colin Hounsell. That's his first. A forward. Bartlett waiting for the crumbs. Oh, no one there went for it. Bartlett out tries to recover as he made way for someone to mark it. Lee scoops it out. A chance for Williams to sway that away. Lines up. Fires for goal. Last time he kicked it out of bounds on the fall. This time he's put it through for a goal. And straight back to uh, Jackson, who had the gas knocked out of him. Knocked away from him by Martello. Fitch. Healy. This time, perhaps. Yes. Yes, it is. Good play. Good team effort there. And Healy kept off with that goal. Martello. The Tigers 25. Melbourne 16. Rioli and Wilson all one-hander. Ick, back to O'Sullivan. A call from Wilson, but there's no one there. Rioli intercepts, makes the dummy, in towards Lee again. And Lee has marked, yes, the screen paid. To warm his foot up. And that practice has certainly paid dividends. That's his second goal in one minute. And uh, Johnson, in fact, it's Seddon. Taking the ball up towards Crosswell. Nearly got it, not quite. Here's a chance now for the Demons as they fire for goal. It's Fidge, shepherded through by uh, Jackson, and it's a goal. No free kick to Wilson. Thought it might have been. O'Brien battling hard over his shoulder. No free kick again. Well, he's eventually upended. He's going to get a free kick for over the shoulder. Collins, who just disappeared on the wing there. Running along the wing. Giant pass. Too long there for Roach. Bartlett cleverly over the back to Riley and a quick look and a shot. Oh, the ball's knocked away by Pitt out to Tony Shaw, but his uh, move was thwarted. Here he is, super boot, and a beautiful pass has found the mercurial Conlon. Conlon goes for goals, and that's the equaliser. Francis. Good teamwork by Fitzroy, and Francis backed his pace well against Williams. Didn't kick so well, though. Pitt, Quinlan, Conlon. Well, he'll back his pace any day. And he's kicked his second. What? Barham brushes his way away. Hits down towards the half-forward line. Dacos battling hard. The umpire says no mark. Get rid of it. Oh, brilliant play, Dacos. Oh, good play. He is beautiful. Kicks it out wide to the flank. Looks for and finds Tony Shaw. Finds Mark Williams. Hinchin, the big leaper. Tony Shaw. Did it well, Barham. Floyd beats off two. Moore's there. Back onto the right foot. Goal! Pointer, I think. Side bottom. Yes, it was in play. And he's kicked a goal. Williams, left foot kick up towards the forward pocket. Two Fitzroy players here. Oh, Craig Davis got in between them. 